I know like fame is awesome and money's awesome, but like, how did your ego handle the fact that you knew you were making Howard that much funnier and no one knew, like, how did you live through that? <clears throat> I that honestly, I honestly never had a problem with that. Wow. My only problem with that was, all right, I'm not standing up and saying I wrote that line. <clears throat> Acknowledge it by compensating me for it. Right. And that's I walked out of there like three or four times. I walked out and wasn't coming back because just because I wasn't saying it, those lines, you know, I was a that I that was my argument today, and people still argue with me. Oh, you should have sh shut up and taken what they give you. No, I I had a lot to do with launching him, with making him so funny that he could do anything. You know, it always comes across as pompous, but in my heart of hearts, I knew how big a part of the show I was. And I was just like, look, I don't want my name in lights. You don't have to do anything. Just compensate me for it. And then, right. and I'd have to go to the wall for that. Right. You know, and, but, and they would, you, <clears throat> except for the last time, they always came back. You know, they always came back because, you know, he would tell me, look, I need you. And I'm like, well, you know, dude, you know, like, <laughs> right. You're making, you're making stupid money. Like compensate me properly. You, you never were, no offense, you weren't compensated properly ever. Uh, and you don't have to comment, but I, I know I know this business like the back of my hand. Like, if I had someone like you, holy fuck, I would have made sure you made millions. Millions. You know, and... Are and, you kidding me? And, and for people to think, you know, Dominic Barbara called me one time. I had been out of, off the show for a couple weeks. He called me, hey, you know who Dominic is, right? Dominic yeah, of course. Barbara, look. Jack, you got to get back on that show, man. They need you so badly. What what's going on here? I want to let me talk to Mel. What are we talking about? What kind of money? And I think this is in the early '90s or something. I said, listen, you know, I'm making three hundred grand, and I'm I'm asking for four hundred grand. And he he pulled off. He said, I got to pull over. He said, Are you kidding me? Because he said the whole world thought I was making a million and a half dollars, yes. and I was asking for two and a half million dollars, and they thought I was. I was, you know, being unfair. And, and he said, you're talking about a hundred thousand. He said, what is wrong with Mel? I'm like, listen, I, you know, I never thought, I never thought I was overstepping the boundaries with what I asked. No, I man. never, I never did. You, you know? weren't asking for that much in the end. I, I know, I know the numbers because we have talked and uh, in the end, Howard was wrong. He should have paid you every single penny. And, you know, you weren't asking for crazy money. Uh, when they finally said no to you, get the that, hell out you know, of here. Yeah, that, that, that's that 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 shit I, flew. Whoever. I, no, I, I get it, but you know, we're talking, <clears> and, <throat> and some of this stuff is in the documentary, so that's the only reason I'm bringing a lot of this, this old crap up because it's now fresh in this documentary for a lot of people uh, to see. 